Yeah, g'day YouTubers, Spaceman AOST. Um, just thought I'd better make a film of this last stage or the next stage of making me reactors, uh, which are the rings that I um, use. Yeah, you know, they're going to weld around the um, outside of the two arms so I can bolt them together. So I, uh, what I've done there, I made a jig to go on my vise, uh, this here, you know, to bolt these two. That's so um, later on when I go to finish off the the uh, reactors, you know, the surfaces and that, I'll be able to bolt it to this jig again and um, that'll allow me to clean them up, you know, on the lathe rather than, you know, trying to sand finish them or anything like that. I'll be able to do a true surface grind to them. Um, also, uh, I'll use this jig to clean up the welds. You know, when they're welded up and that, I'll be able to put them in here and grind the welds flat and flush, keep it all nice and pretty, I suppose. So, yeah, so I just thought I'd just do another quick video just to show you this next stage, what I'm up to here. Um, I haven't done the outside ring here yet. Yeah, I'll mark them. I just sort of mark them out. On the on here on the lathe, so I, when I cut them out by angle grinder, uh, the outside bits uh, they're not as crucial or important as the center hole. So uh, last time I did this, I sort of did it differently, and I didn't have any way of putting them on the lathe to finish them, you know, and I was just grinding them by hand, uh, which is not a very nice finish. So that's why I built this. And uh, so yeah, so now what I'm doing now is um, basically I allow it, bring that in <coughs> and I, I could fire it up for you but basically yeah, I just wind this in, you know, um, pushes the hole saw into the, into the stainless steel, uh, go all the way through, you know, in one cut and uh, end up with that. <laughs> So yeah, so that's what I'm doing at the moment. So I'll, um, these are cut to 62 mil. Um, the hole's got to be 65.5. But the reason I've gone 62 is I want to um, try to taper that that inner uh, the inner edge here. Yeah, I want to make it sort of wider at the front than the back, so it sort of follows the dome of the reactor and give it a nicer finish so yeah that's mainly why i've made this jig up so i can do a better job of it because when he welded them up um i'll just show you uh, when the mate welded up these rings on these last lot what ended up happening was um you can see this this here is actually 0.9 mil thick stainless but He's still burned a hole through in places. Uh, you can see around the uh, inside edge there, but um, it also pulled in on that bottom edge. It's sort of like a bit of a lip, a bit of a lip here, yeah, you know, at the bottom part of it, because it had a gap, you know, and when he welded it, it closed in the gap and sort of distorted it sort of dinted it you can't really see it there um, but it's sort of a bit of a dint there um, which I don't want so that's why I'm sort of going to try and lay them to be a better fit and as you can see that was what I was talking about grinding them back um, it's not the best um, so anyway I'll sort of make sure this is all a lot more professional this time, you know, so there's no stuff ups, you know, it ends up exactly around sphere. This one, as I said, it popped out a bit and um, it got welded that way, so I'm hoping to sort of um, prevent that this time. Anyway, I'll keep, up, keep you up to date with the next bit of progress and um, you'll keep well. Spaceman A, you'll see you out.